All right, so tomorrow we're having a really big car show out of Cook's Garage here in Little Texas. So me and Chandler picking up some of the cooler cars and doing details on everything today, getting it ready. We're taking like 10 of the local exotics out to this car show. So right now we're picking up the 570S with the Novatech body kit. Y'all have probably seen this one several times. This one Awesome, such a good sounding car. And I really forgot how much I loved matte paint. So the this is this is his newest car to complement the Pista, which is also matte. I had a couple matte colored cars myself, and it makes me really want to. We should do the Lotus matte. We'll wrap it in matte red. That has to be a hard car to wrap, right? It's gonna be very difficult to wrap, especially that rear panel, the, like where the lights are. That's be pretty hard. Chandler is getting set up with the whole mobile, mobile RO, oh, yeah. fancy, fancy wash. Fancy wash. So, Matt's really easy to wash though. I daily a matte colored car for three years or two years and I never put soap on it. It was only, it's before I knew Chandler. Only, 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 only did quarter wash on it. No soap, just, just uh, the soft water, RO water. But I'm gonna shoot some photos for the website, and so we'll do a time lapse of Chandler washing the cars. Which one sounds better? The the twin turbo V8 or the V12 channel? V12. Yeah? V12. All day. All day. We, yep. we There's no competition. That. I agree, but still a piece that still sounds awesome.
following along for a while, the black, that matte black 458 that I did the whole photo shoot video on a long time ago, these are also his cars. Okay, so we got both of those cleaned up and we're back at the shop. Like I said, tomorrow is gonna be a really, really big day out of Cook's Garage, so the shop is full of really cool cars. I wanted to show you all around and show you a few of the cars that we have in here right now. So right off the bat, we have this red GT500. There's actually two more GT500s out front. There is a lime green one and then an orange one. And right here, we have this awesome Ferrari FF. I've always really liked the FF. Just having a practical hatchback with an exotic supercar. Uh, there's lots of obvious perks for that. That's one reason I loved the AMG so much. That wasn't quite supercar level, but that was a very fast, fun car that was also practical. The inside of this thing out, classic red and black carbon fiber. Beautiful, beautiful spec. Then we have this unicorn white ZR1. This is one of our favorite Corvettes that come through. The GT3 Porsche. We uh, done a photo shoot of this car, and uh, I think this one's actually for sale right now. Got a new Bronco. And then we got Joseph over here getting the Lotus all cleaned up. I think I'm gonna help him scrub the wheels, actually. We also have a bunch of really cool stuff out front. Here's the McLaren that we picked up this morning. Just had two more GT500s dropped off. This one's incredibly fast, has a lot of work done to it. I don't know anything about the orange one. Looks like it's, looks like it's new. Love the carbon fiber wheels on the GT500s. If I could find an affordable set for the Elise, I would do that in a heartbeat. And then if you're a Porsche fan, this is an incredible, incredible car. This is a 911 Targa 4S Heritage Edition. One of our good friends and customers, David, has this. And he also has a Taycan Turbo. If I can track him down tomorrow to show you what came with this car, he was required to buy the matching watch that came with this car that is made out of some of the same interior materials that this car is and it was a prerequisite if you buy the car you have to buy the watch which is not uncommon with extremely high-end purchases and i think that's just too cool i would definitely definitely buy the watch if it was me as well and then our buddy blake just showed up with the white and black r8 this actually has like a little bit of blue in the paint you park it next to a true white car, and this one just really stands out. All right, we got a clean Lotus. If you missed the last video kind of unveiling the interior in the Lotus, uh, here it is. Um, let me park, and then we can look around a little bit more. Yeah, so here we are, interior of the Lotus. Uh, this was our last really really big project and it turned out oh, it's just exactly like i wanted now in some of the photos the red looks really overbearing and the few kind of negative comments or critiques i got from a few people were just saying it was too much red but actually sitting in here it's a very good amount of red and contrasting so we have this red alcantara with the custom cnc stitched hexagons black leather Got our Tillet racing seats. If you're unfamiliar with the project or with the Lotus in general, we did these are custom Mercedes air vents that we had to modify this whole dash to fit. This is a custom double den. The original unit is just one single den with air vents on top. So all of this had to be modified to fit. 
this is the only piece that's not finished out yet. Traditionally, there's an airbag inside of here and we've converted it to a glove box. Now I still have to do the finishing work inside of here, but this is a great little place to hide a few things. This is my Matco Micro Jump. This is a booster pack for in case the car dies. Since we got rid of the alarm system and the immobilizer, there's no more battery drain in this car. It's still a small battery and it does have a tendency to die occasionally. So just in case we have this. And back in there we also have a USB charger and some cords for our double bin screen and our guard dash. So that's some of the custom stuff we did in here. Of course, we have a different steering wheel, lots of carbon fiber aftermarket stuff, the gated shifter. Um, but overall, this is my dream interior inside the Lotus. It's been a long day. We have been going and picking up customers' cars and then taking two cars to go drop them back off. And right now, Chandler is in the white R8 that I showed y'all earlier. We're taking it to drop it back off to the customer. And then we're going back to the shop and I am going to get the interior of the Lotus cleaned up because we are going to take it to the show tomorrow. You saw us, uh, you saw the guys get it all washed and the outside cleaned up. But tonight, when everybody's done for the night, I'm going to get in there and just uh, detail the interior, make it look really, really pretty for the show in the morning. And then after that, I think we are about done for the day. I'm exhausted. It has been a long day. I don't feel like I filmed a whole bunch of clips of everything that we did, but that's kind of a day in the life of a car media guy right there. So <laughs> it's been a, it's been a long day, but these are always a lot of fun. And uh, around here, we're really starved for truly unique, cool cars. And so the fact that Chandler's shop has really brought together so many of these really interesting people and these really cool cars, uh, I just, I love being able to be a small part of everything that he's doing. But right now we're gonna go pick up Chandler, get back to the shop, and then as soon as we're done, I think we're washing uh, the black C8 that I shot last week. And I think we might have one more car to shoot other than that. Then we'll get the Lotus cleaned up and ready for tomorrow morning. You can kind of see what I was talking about earlier. The paint's just a little bit blue in the right sunlight. So that car is successfully dropped off and we're going to go back to the shop and get the day wrapped up. So, you know, the, you know, the crew's doing something right when we got to make a list of who's driving what car. Look at that, so we got C8. What is that? Targa? Tesla? Targa. Dang. Doctor hey, handwriting. These are my chicken scratches. Oh, yeah, GT3. This is secret stuff. <laughs> McChicken. <laughs> McChicken. <laughs> Foe. FF. Shelby before Christ. Shelby <laughs> or <laughs> Loras. You the, listen here. These are, my, these are my chicken scratches. I'll decipher this later. Okay, that has been a long day. No, still not quite done yet. Still got to do the interior in the Lotus, but we're going to pull the Mustangs in and the Corvette. This is an epic win. If you've watched any of my videos, you know, I'm a huge fan of manual sliding seats. And here in the 2020, 2021 GT500, we have a manual sliding seat, which is awesome. Check out all this carbon fiber that we have in here on the dash, got the cool analog it's gauges up here, full digital screen. And we have the chassis number over there, which is also really, really cool. And try to fit all this in here. It's a lot of cars. So that was a really tight fit so far. We have six cars in here. We have, I guess, three more. We have the C8, we have the ZR1, and then we have the Lotus. Luckily, it's nice and small and we can fit it almost anywhere. Okay, now time for the C8. my buddy Lorenzo's car and it is beautiful the carbon fiber body kit and it's full PPF 
so it's nice and protected. All right, we've got a full house. Everybody, Joseph said he's gonna show up at like five in the morning and get all these cars out. So the last thing on the agenda, I'm gonna pull the roof off the Lotus and the interior is actually a lot cleaner than I thought it was gonna be. I haven't driven the car in like two weeks, so I thought it was gonna be really dirty in there, but it's not too bad. So I'm just gonna pull the roof off, try to find some place in the shop to set it down at. We're gonna have to mess with it in the morning. If you don't know anything about taking the roof off of a Lotus, it's, is it like a Corvette with a clip? Is it, is it like a Porsche with a button? <laughs> no, it is with a T40 and a ratchet on all four sides. And boom, a few minutes later, the roof is off the car and man, these really look awesome with the roof off. I sold the soft top because I just hate the way the soft top looks, but the hard top looks awesome. But yeah, if you missed that last video on the interior, here it is. We have our tillet seats, all of our custom Alcantara, our custom seat pads. And you know, we have a lot of work in here. And we have our GRP gated shifter. We have all of the carbon fiber, you know, our custom air vents, custom doubled in. So we have a lot of work in this interior. I'm so, so stoked with the way that it all came together. But anyway, I think I'm done for the day. I'm just gonna jump in there and detail the car a little bit. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me just for kind of a typical car show prep day out here at Kennedy Detail. I really enjoy being able to capture all these cool cars that the guys out here get to wash and detail and ceramic coat and make look beautiful. There's some really unique stuff that always rolls through here. But like I said, I really appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.